thing that we don't have to fight other people sometimes. The F-22 Raptor, once regarded as a groundbreaking technological achievement, continues to be a central part of the U.S. Air Force's air superiority efforts. However, with ongoing budget constraints and a changing threat environment, the future of this renowned fighter jet is becoming increasingly uncertain. Despite these challenges, the U.S. Air Force has committed to extending the F-22's service life, investing nearly $10 billion in upgrades. These improvements will enhance the aircraft's capabilities in weapon systems, communications, navigation, and electronic warfare, ensuring it remains relevant in the face of emerging threats from adversaries like China and Russia. However, the F-22 has its limitations. Its considerable size and high operational costs have raised concerns about its long-term sustainability. The Air Force also struggled to maintain fleet readiness due to maintenance challenges and shortages of essential parts, which complicates the long-term outlook for the aircraft's operational viability. The decision to extend the F-22's service life comes at a time when the Air Force is also developing a next-generation air dominance fighter, or NGAD. Yet the NGAD program has encountered delays and uncertainties, primarily due to financial constraints and evolving conceptual requirements. This has created uncertainty around the timeline for selecting a vendor and securing adequate funding for the program. For now, the F-22 remains vital to maintaining U.S. air superiority. Modernization efforts, such as the Raptor Agile Capability Release Program, are designed to keep the F-22 operationally effective through regular software and system updates. These efforts aim to ensure the aircraft remains agile and capable of adapting to new combat challenges. Looking ahead, the Air Force intends to keep the F-22 in service into the 2040s, but the challenge remains to strategically determine the right moment to transition fully to next-generation solutions. Balancing immediate needs with future advancements will be crucial to ensuring the continued effectiveness of U.S. air power. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more updates and thanks for watching.